In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a second look at blending modes. Blending is what happens when you have two adjacent tracks and one has an impact on the look of the other. The normal blending mode is simply the, the image or picture or video in the higher numbered track simply overlays what's beneath it unless you change its opacity. What happens here is we have different ways of making those two interact. We had a lesson where you use your own videos or clips or images to blend. I don't really use uh, those techniques much, but we'd like to show you how to use a different kind of blend with some very built-in qualities called presets that have a greater value in this whole idea of blending tracks. Let me show you. We're going to click on the Tools menu. I have just one simple track here with a clip on it. Click on the Tools menu and go to Blending Effect. That will take me to my Blending Effect Designer. There are uh, six blending modes built into my version of PowerDirector version 15 and the seventh one I found on their website. So there really aren't a lot of a lot around at this point in time. But what I have are seven options. Let me show you what happens when I click on each of them. I'll click on Analog Film. And what it does is it puts these kind of uh, dirty bits on the screen and some lines that will appear. It automatically said, the designer said, let's make the blending mode difference. We have eight to pick from. And that's the one that we see outlined here as difference. And then it sets a default opacity, in this case, 78%. So when I go ahead and, and play the clip, I see the effect of it. Okay, that's the look and feel of the analog film. Let's click the lens flare, and you notice it's using a different blend mode about the same and the same opacity by the designer. And when I click on the play, I see the impact of the lens flare. We'll stop that. We have a lens flare 2, which has different kinds of stop. Again, this is a screen blending mode, and the default opacity by the designer is set to 100%. Then there's a light leak at the top. We'll let you look at that for a moment. light spots as, w as well. Again, this one is lighten instead. Again, that's a 78% uh, opacity. And we have a page on screen with a... And that's the screen blending mode set to 78%. And the one I downloaded earlier today is light leak on the side, screen mode at 59%. And you can change the mode if you want to. Uh, most likely it won't improve the picture. We can go to lighten, that didn't change much. Overlay, not too bad. Difference and hue. So not too much change there as far as I can tell. Well, uh, let's pick another one and modify that just for fun. Let's see the lens flare number one. Let's go from screen mode to darken, uh, to lighten, to overlay, to difference. Ooh, that's strange. Uh, but you, you can also change the opacity scale on any of these and uh, adjust it any way you like. So if you desire to make some adjustments you can do that in these two areas, the blending mode and the opacity of any of the presets, either the built-in ones or the downloaded ones. Again, I'm sometimes hunting for a reason to use any of these, but if you find them and they help you in your creativity, in your product, go for it. And uh, when you're done, if you like what you find, just click OK, and it will put that, let's put that back here. And now I have the blending mode uh, set here in this. It has the 
opacity and it also has the name of it called a lens flare and so if I play my video I will get the, the result. Mm -hmm.